Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 5th grade math. This is lesson 1.1. Today we are going to be talking about place value patterns, understanding the relationship between place value positions. Uh, by the end of today's lesson, you will be able to find a number that is 10 times bigger than another number. You'll be able to find a number that um, is one tenth of another number and then you'll be able to describe the positions on the place value chart now I will be printing a place value chart for you to have so please make sure you have that in your binder so that we can use it for our homework all right here is question number one remember you're going to have this chart printed out for you I'm gonna print this out for you and you'll be able to use it for this homework okay so first things first let's take a look at this chart and just remember so our decimal point is going to be right here right so that's our decimal point let's put it right there so we have our decimal point and then we have the ones place we have the tens place we have the hundreds place now we're in the thousands so one thousands the ten thousand and then then the hundred thousand okay now the cool thing about this is once you have this chart, it's actually very easy to understand uh, some place value concepts. So let's say if I had the number one, right? Let's say I had one dollar and you had 10 times as much as me. So 10 times more than one. So what number would that be? You would have 10, right? So when you went from here, you went from here this one was 10 times as much. And the cool thing about this is every single time you go this way, it's 10 times bigger than the other one. So let me give you guys an example of what that means. So again, I'll, tr I'll draw that for you guys again. 10 is 10 times bigger than this. And 100 is 10 times bigger than 10, right? Because you need 10 tens to get to 100. And then if you have 1,000, 1,000 is 10 times bigger than 100, right? Because you need 10 100s. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. If you were counting on your fingers, you would have saw you had 10 100s. And then if you have the number 10,000, we know that that is 10 times bigger than 1,000. Let's count by 1,000s on our fingers. So 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. So you know that 10,000 is 10 times bigger than 1,000. And the same thing with 100,000. 100,000 is 10 times bigger than 10,000. Right? Let's count by 10,000s, right? We're going to count on our fingers. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, 80,000, 90,000, 100,000. So you know that 100,000 is 10 times bigger. So every time you go to the left, you're getting 10 times bigger. So I'm going to reveal our number here. And let's see if we can read this question. And yes, do I have to write this question down? Yes, you do. So please write down the number one and copy this question down. And it says blank is 10 times as great as 9,000. So what would be 10 times bigger than 9,000? Remember, every time we go a step this way, it would be 10 times bigger. So what's the next number up? Well, the next number up would be 90. Thousand. So 90,000 is 10 times as great as 9,000. All right, because all we did is we went one step this way, 10 times bigger. All right, and in the next time, we're actually going to learn what happens when you go backwards. It's also 10 times smaller. All right, so let's see. All right, this is actually that question. We're going to find out 10 times smaller. So let's says, uh, let's again, please write down the question. You have number two copy this down and it says blank is one tenth of nine thousand so remember when we went this way everything got ten times bigger all right everything got ten times bigger this way but what happens when we go in reverse it's going to get ten times smaller so I'm gonna do it in different colors so you guys can see it 
So when, let's see, what is 10 times smaller or one tenth, right? Only one of the 10 of 9,000. We're going to go backwards one. Our answer is going to be 900. Because you need 10 nine hundreds to make 9,000. So 900 is one tenth of 9,000. You might feel a little bit confused, and that's okay, but the more you practice and the more you use the placement chart, the easier it's going to become. All right, let's try question number three. So it says, what number is 10 times as great as 800, right? So this time they have 9,000 written here, but we do need to write in the number 800. So let's see, let's write in the number 800, 800, zero, zero, right? Because we have eight one hundreds, right? So we have 800, let's see. And it says, what number is 10 times as great? Remember, when we go to the left, it's going to get bigger. So what is 10 times 800 or 10 times bigger than 800? And that would give us what? Eight thousand. So the answer for this one is going to be eight thousand. The number that is ten times as great as eight hundred is eight thousand. All right, let's try another one. Here we go. So we got. Let's see. The num. What number is ten times as great as forty? Please remember, I am asking you to write these down. So make sure you write that down, and everything here. So we do need to write down the number 40. So remember, that's the tens place and that's the ones place. So we have a zero. We have four tens. So the number 40. What number is 10 times as great as 40? So remember, we got to go this way. So we have 40. And what is the next number that is 10 times bigger? Well, that's going to be 400. So the answer for this problem is 400 is 10 times as great as 40. Let's try another one. All right, let's check this one out. It says, what number is 1 tenth? That means we're going to go to the right of 600. So let's put it in. So we have 600. And remember, we want to go this way. Every time we go this way, it's going to be 1 tenth or 10 times smaller. So what is 10 times smaller? 600. You guessed it, that is 60. Good job. All right, remember, again, I do want you guys to write down these questions. So if you do have to press pause and write down the question, please do so. Let's move on to question number six. I am going to give you a quick second to press pause so you can write this question down. And the question says, what number is one tenth of 20,000? So first of all, we do need to fill it in into our placement chart. We have 20,000 like this. All right, so all we need to do now is find out, remember 20,000 and one tenth means we're gonna go to the right. So what is one tenth of 20,000? That's going to give you 2,000. So what number is one tenth of 20,000? That is going to be 2,000. Good job. Let's move on to the next question. Again, I'm going to give you guys just a few seconds. Please make sure you label question number seven. You write this question down and it says like this, 30,000 is 10 times as great as what number? Listen to the words because they're trying to trick you on this one. So 30,000 is now one thing you do need to understand is that whenever you see the word is, that means equals. Like, for example, Mr. Negru is cool. Mr. Negru is the best. Mr. Negru is the best at Call of Duty. So, is <laughs> means equals. So, if 30,000 is equal, so let's check this out. Let's do some, some algebra. Let's see if we can get this. So, we know 30,000 is equal, right? Is means equals to 10 times what number, right? What number? So what number times this is going to give us 30,000? This is a little bit advanced, but all we need to do is plug in our number in the number chart. So we have 30,000. Let's check this out. So it says 30,000 is 10 times bigger than this number. It means we're going to go this way. 
So what number is going to happen over here? We know that the answer is going to be 3,000. And if you multiply by zeros, 10 times 3,000, remember all we need to do is just add a zero, and you're going to get 30,000. All right, let's try another one. Here's question number eight. Again, I'm going to give you a few seconds. Press pause. Please write down this question. So the question says 400,000 is, what does the word is mean again? Equal. So 400,000 equals 10 times as great as what number? So first thing we got to do is do write down the number 400,000. So we have 400,000, one, two, three. And it says it's 10 times as great as this other number. So that means it's going to go this way. So what is one tenth of 400,000? Well, that's going to be 40,000. So the answer for this problem is 40,000. All right, let's try another one. Number nine. So let's see, it says 300 is, remember that the word is, means one tenth of a number so this number is smaller than the other one so let's plug it in let's see if we can figure this out so 300 is one tenth of another number they actually want you to go this way so let me give you guys an example as great as and then so when it's as great as you're going to be going to the right and then when it says is one tenth of a number, you're going to be going that way. So 300 is one tenth of what number? Note that when we jump one spot, it's going to get right. It's going to get 10 times bigger. So what's 10 times bigger than 300? Well, that's going to be 3,000. So the answer for this problem is 3,000. All right, here's another one. Please make sure you write down the question. I'm going to give you a second. Please press pause, and then you can answer the question. All right, so it says 50,000 is one-tenth of what number? So let's see, what does it say? When it says is, we got to go this way, like that. So let's plug in our number. We have 50,000, one, two, three and we know it's got to go that way because we said one tenth of what number so when we go this way to the left it's going to get 10 times bigger so what number is that that's going to be five hundred thousand so fifty thousand is one tenth of a number what number and that number is five hundred thousand all right i think we have two more questions let's see so it says like this. this. This time we don't have the graph in front of us, right? That little chart. But you guys will. I don't. Let's see if I can figure it out. It says 10 times as great. Let's, rem let's remind ourselves. When it says 10 times as great, do you remember what it said we needed to do? But see, this one was as great as. And then this one was, let's go back here. All right. Uh, is... Let's see, where are we at? Okay, so 10 times as great as what number? So 90 is 10 times as great as what number? So what, what do you think it is? So as great, as great as. What does it say? We gotta go to the right. So if we go to the right, that means we're gonna be getting one of these zeros and the answer is nine. So 10 times, so 100 is 10 times as great as what number? We're going to be get going this way, so that's going to be 10. 3,000 is 10 times as great as what number? We're going to remember, we're going to go this way, so make sure you write it down in your chart. And we know if we go that way, we're just going to move everything back one. We know our answer is going to be 300. And then 60,000 is 10 times as great as what number? And we know that number is going to be 6,000, right? If you plug it in the chart, you see that it went 110. Uh, got 10 times smaller all right let's see if we can fill in the other one oops shouldn't have done that let's do this there we go all right so it says 90 is one tenth of what number so when it's 
one tenth what did we say we got to go this way so let's just show it really here if we had the number 90 and it was one tenth what's the next number up it's going to be 900 so let's see 100 is one tenth of what number that's going to be 1000 3,000 is going to be one-tenth of what number? That's going to be 30,000. And then 60,000 is going to be one-tenth of what number? And that's going to be 600,000. All right, let's try one more. And our last one. Again, I, do I want you to write this down? Absolutely. So you have question number 12. Please make sure you press pause. Draw the table the best you can. I would like you to use a ruler so I can see some straight lines. Okay. Remember, when we do use paper, the line paper, I want to make sure we stay in between the lines, right? Stay in between the lines. I don't want you to write uh, outside of the lines. So let's try this uh, again. Let's see. So it says 5,000 is 10 times as great as what number? So we got the number 5,000. That means we're going to go this way. So our answer is going to be 500. Then we have 70. 70 is 10 times bigger than what number? That's going to be 7. 40,000 is 10 times bigger than what number? That's going to be 4,000. And then 300 is 10 times bigger than what number? And that's going to be 30. All right, so now we just got to do the last one over here on the right. And we have 5,000 is one tenth of what number? So that means we're going to be going this way, right? This way, like that. And that's going to be 50,000. 70 is going to one tenth of what number? That's going to be 700. 40,000 is one tenth of what number? It's going to be 400,000. And then 300 is one tenth of what number? And that's going to be 3,000. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was place value concepts. Uh, please make sure you get your homework done. Please make sure you copy all of your homework, and I will see you all in class.